Hey guys, today it is Wednesday, the 29th of July, and you are watching GameSpot News. Open world zombie game Dying Light is getting a fairly meaty expansion called The Following. The expansion is free if you already picked up the $20 Dying Light DLC pass, but it will also be available to purchase separately for a yet to be determined price. Among other things, the expansion will introduce June buggy vehicles that you can use to maim your zombie foes in a whole new way. Techland has also confirmed a new map, which will be the same size as all the previous Dying Light maps combined. The developer have said the following will be feature heavy and have a whole new story. A release date is yet to be announced. Blizzard has revealed that the next major World of Warcraft expansion is going to be announced next week at Gamescom. The sixth expansion will follow on from Warlords of Draenor, which came out last year. It's not a huge shock that the announcement is coming now, given that in 2013, Blizzard confirmed that a follow-up to the Draenor expansion was already in the works. Blizzard has previously stressed that providing gamers with full paid expansions in addition to free updates is crucial to keeping the game relevant. The newest expansion will be announced on Thursday, August 6 at 9am PDT. There will also be a developer chat on Sunday morning of that week, which will go into more detail about the expansion. Windows 10 is out today, and if you already have Windows 7 or 8, you can even get it for free. Initial reviews of the OS have been fairly positive, and the offer to upgrade for free if you're an existing Windows 7 or 8 user is available for a year. Windows 10 features a brand new Xbox gaming app, Microsoft's voice-activated intelligent personal assistant called Cortana, and a new browser called Edge, which, let's face it, can't be any less popular than Internet Explorer. Most significantly for Xbox owners, it features the ability to stream Xbox One games to your PC. And Phil Spencer has said that Microsoft is looking into PC to Xbox One game streaming too. For the full review and details on how to upgrade to Windows 10, head to our story on GameSpot. Let me know down in the comments if you're excited for Windows 10 or not and why. You can head to GameSpot where we've got stories on the Wii U passing 10 million units sold and next month's PS Plus games. That is everything I wanted to tell you about today. I will be back same time tomorrow, so I'll catch you then.